I remember playing against Hartford and, and knowing that they were one of the hardest hitting teams. Every memory I have from football is a good one. The feeling of being on the field, listening to the crowd when you're out there. My name is Willie Todd. I'm a Hartford High School student. I'm an intern at White River Toyota and I play for the Hartford Hurricanes. The opportunity to be one of 37 kids on that football field that day. I can only dream what it's going to be like. My brother was in a very serious accident and he spent some time at the Shriners Hospital. The best care for my little brother, that's all they wanted. White River Toyota is proud to highlight our community in this STUDO film. Heroes looks beyond the lights of a Friday night to salute the courage and tenacity of the children who are patients of the Shriners Hospitals. The Shrine Maple Sugar Bowl has raised over $5 million and countless spirits. It's Friday night. The playoffs are here and high school football teams are lining up for another epic battle under the lights. Talking about getting physical to a level that you haven't played before, but I know you have it in you. Over the heart, beat together as one. Good job, man. Crosstown rivals, rabid fans, cheerleaders, and coaching staff. You guys get a short field now will soon fade into the night. You sort of wish you could go back to that Friday night one more time. On the gridiron, the hero is defined by yards gained, tackles me, and championships won. But when you look beyond the lights of a Friday night, heroes don't fight to live another play. They fight to live for a better day. She's had close to 40 broken bones in her life. And she's eight. One day, I had her just bend over. Her back just popped right out. When I was about six weeks gestation, Taylor developed a blood clot in her arm. I wasn't sure, you know, if she was going to be able to tie her shoes. I wasn't sure if she was going to be able to take care of herself. It was an uh, absolute shock when we got the initial diagnosis of muscular dystrophy. The healthcare system is complex and difficult to navigate for families and children in need. As a parent, we're supposed to be the fixer of things. The biggest frustration for me is how I feel that I'm limited in what I can do to give my son a good day. How old are you? Four. How many fingers? His insurance company kept contacting me over and over again saying they weren't going to cover it. Can you say hi? Our insurance company basically said good luck with that. They considered it a pre-existing condition because she was born that way. They would pay for nothing that related to her arm. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what direction to go. And to think that somebody's child is unable to get the care that they need, it's you know, heart-wrenching. In 1922, a group of ordinary men dedicated to providing care for children and families created an extraordinary healthcare network. The Shriners Hospitals for Children serve kids from all over the world, regardless of their ability to pay. When it comes to a healthy future for a child, the Shriners ride in like a knight in shining armor. When you have a child that can laugh for just two minutes, that gives them the opportunity to forget their condition. This is what we do. Since 1954, the Shrine Maple Sugar Bowl has brought the Vermont and New Hampshire football communities together.
for a common cause. To raise money and create awareness so that the Shriners can continue to provide health care for those in need. Being selected to the Shrine team means an intense pre-game camp, including a week of rigid schedules, countless meetings, and three-a-day practice sessions. But for these unsuspecting high school all-stars, a life-changing experience lies right around the corner. Still, a lot of the kids who get selected now may not even understand what it's all about. When the clock reaches zero on Saturday, it's not going to matter what it says on the score. This game is much more than football. You're going to go down and see firsthand why we're here. I didn't know we were going to go see kids. I didn't even know anything about the Shriners Hospital. I didn't, I didn't know any of that. I just thought that that was the name they gave the game. That first week is uh, very difficult. You go double, triple sessions, and I suppose after the scrimmage on Saturday, some of the kids are wondering, what am I doing here? What was the difference that you noticed after your kids visited the Shrine Hospital on Sunday and they came back to practice Monday? They had a cause, they had a reason, and uh, the whole camp changes. Uh, they get a lot more serious, they get a lot more focus, and uh, it makes a big difference after they see these kids. As a 17-year-old kid, you feel like you're Tom Brady walking in to that hospital room. I mean, they're ready for you with a pen, ready to sign everything, and just get away from their situation for, for a moment in time. As these kids, they look up to you. It, it brightens their day, it lifts their spirits, and it makes, it makes us feel, feel incredible. We were a little nervous at first, but one of the guys kind of gently asked if he could sign her cast, which was fresh, brand new, hot pink. And so we all started signing it. And I had her sign my arm. I think I'm going to ask a teammate to redo it for the game. It gives them that first sense of, you know, leaving high school that, okay, you, you can help people. It's funny to think that a couple hours at a hospital can change your outlook on things that much, but it, it certainly did. Being wired to never give up never give in those things you see in the hospital. I got kids at the hospital that were a lot tougher than I was. To see the, the compassion of some of who you think are the toughest kids and the, the, the strongest kids. To see smiles on their faces, these kids that couldn't walk, it was really exciting to be there. To be there and spend a day with them, it, it really puts things in perspective. You know, they look at you like, wow, and, and you look at them and you say, wow to you. I'm just fighting to play a football game. I'm gonna go out there and play my heart out, not for myself, for the kids. Airing one out for the end zone, touchdown. What does that mean about giving your ability so other people will benefit from people that you don't even know? Coming on back to Gilding, he'll fire long and deep. He's complete on a beautiful catch. Wow. And it was pretty special to see what all the, the hard work was there for, and it's the kids. That's really what it's about. Not so much yourself as you think it is at first. It wasn't about high school football anymore. To get the snap, he does. He gives the ball off, and it is a touchdown with no time showing on the. I don't. I, I don't have to have this body. You know, I. I could be in a wheelchair right now. Like these kids are fighting every day, and you really think about how, how lucky you are to have your life and how happy you are. He'll just slant right through it again. Roll big, big hole. I remember. Being a young man and feeling I was invincible, all I thought about was, okay, what's my next play going to be, and when can I go run? The second man threw it wildly once again, running room. He's across the 35. But I'm, I remember thinking, boy, there's more to life than just football. He's going to want to throw. He's going to set it up and fire for Turner. Being able to go there for a good cause, play football for something bigger than yourself, is really special. It really never hit me until. Um, I had my own son myself. Chris Childs on the tag. It really dawned on me why I played that game and what this is all about. Shriners Hospital is an amazing place. Absolutely amazing. They do incredible things. What do you understand about your disease and your future? That my life's just that's gonna make my life harder. Alright, everybody on Jared. Jared, you call it. What do you want? One, two, three, go! Yeah! Hey, uh, I took care of my dad for three months and uh, 
watched him pass away in front of me. And then I took care of my wife for four years and watched her pass away in front of me. And now I'm taking care of my son. I've been tested. They talked about this new award they were giving out. But when they got down to the core issues of strength and integrity, when the board member said that there was only one kid that actually deserved this award, and he said my son's name, it was uh, pretty much took my breath away, actually. My life has changed a lot because before my surgery, this is what my spine looked like. This is what my spine looks like now. I'll be riding my bike until 10 p.m. at night with my friend Abby. So when she was half a year old, we started treatment, which has made her bones very dense and lessen the fractures by leaps and bounds. I can finally jump much better and I'm running faster. It doesn't hurt when I walk. There are a lot of children who are looking at things that are really scary in the face and saying, I can do this. It's changed the whole world. She was, you know, tying her shoes when she was like two or three, and she has all the confidence to go climb trees, go, you know, make friendship bracelets. She definitely found it to be very useful in her life, and, and she's just vibrant and full of confidence, and, and she'll do anything she wants to do in this world. This disease doesn't have a cure. Uh, he'll live a fairly abbreviated life. When you look at that little boy of mine and see his, his smile and his strength, that it makes me keep going. He keeps me going. And it just absolutely changed everything once the Shriners got involved and took all of that fear away. It really feels like old friends when we walk through those doors. The Shrine experience is an incredible one for us. We walk out of there with having a plan, a lot more knowledge, and some hope. I love that it doesn't matter what the insurance companies have to say. They will take children and treat them no matter your ability to pay. Freedom of being able to walk, they gifted that to her because it wasn't so simple before that. Awesome. You say thank you, Shriners? Thank you, Shriners. So the next time you see a high school football game, take a moment to count your blessings and consider lending a hand to a child in need. Because there's a hero in all of us. It wasn't my main job to make a person a better football player. It was to make them a better person. That's only reinforced by the Shrine experience. I was under uh, Coach Wheeler from Essex. He was a real big believer in conditioning, and when we actually played that game in the Shrine game, we actually won the game in the fourth quarter with a field goal. The kick is up, and Vermont has the lead. What do we want our players coming away from here with? It's the notion of being unselfish. It's the notion of giving back. And Wes Doyle, uh, like I said, was a hell of an athlete. The New Hampshire has just dominated over the years. The left side, and it is tipped away, and Vermont has won the football game. The seven-year losing streak is over. Which was Essex head coach Bruce Wheeler, and he has somehow the winning combination here because Vermont's only won 11 games, and 
Bruce he has won, I believe, three times. He has uh, been an assistant coach on winning teams. He played on a team that tied at one of the two ties. Just the tradition of that game and the kids, you know, they really want to be a part of it. For a lot of the seniors, that's one of their main goals. It may have been the first time they were doing something for somebody else. Those are the best of the best players that, that we, you know, we're, we're interested in. Tim's done it, man. I'm proud of the guy. He has uh, put New Hampshire on the map in a lot of ways. And then you throw in the Brian Day from New Hampshire, no doubt about it, the most prolific quarterback. The best experience I had in my entire high school career. There's no nobody I've ever played against in my life that I felt more helpless against than Dave. You don't see that type of that type of body control and his ability to go get the ball. I said this, this kid's not normal. Like something 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 different about him. When he started getting that national attention, I was happy for him. He, I know how hard he worked, he just he just he just flourished. People often ask me, you know, why are you why are you back? You know, my family's here. This is where I'm rooted. I'm a, I'm a New England guy at heart, and I'm a Vermonter. You know, this is home. Clarendon was afflicted with scoliosis, a severe spinal deformity, and had surgery performed at the Shriners Hospital, which changed her life forever. She's a 12-year-old girl with a passion for singing, and she is here today to sing the national anthem. Please welcome Carissa. Coach McDonald's the, by far the best coach I've had in my life at anything. He's intense, um, he's passionate, he means what he says. He just keeps it real. Well, people talk about Greg Landry from Nashua High School way back. He went on to start the University of Massachusetts uh, in the mid-60s and went on to play a little bit with the Detroit Lions in the National Football League. When I walked on the field, you know, my hometown was Nashua, New Hampshire, and I felt I felt proud that I was I was giving some honor back to the back to the city. If I got interviewed, you know, I'd always say I'm from Nashville, New Hampshire. 